Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my jungle. Today we're having a weird intro clip because this is another video that I filmed a while back and I still wanted to share it because I thought that you would really enjoy it, especially if you're a snake lover like myself. I feel like you still really enjoy this video. So, basically, let me tell you the story. Here in Rhode Island, there is a reptile store that is my absolute favorite and the shop owner is amazing top notch and uh he's really cool i feel like i don't know if he would consider us friends but i feel like we're friends because i'm in there all the time i've bought several snakes from him and basically um he let me take home a hog nose anaconda and i had him home for about a week or two and then we traded and he gave me a ball python so uh basically that's what happened so i had this hog nose for about a week and i filmed it i filmed my first week with him and i thought i would show you guys and it was really cool like i really appreciated that because i felt like a crazy hog nose maybe wasn't the snake for me you know you'll see you'll see in the video um hog noses are crazy they're like scary not scary but they're really good at bluffing let's just say that they're really good at bluffing and i hope you guys really enjoy the video make sure you're subscribed to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet you hit that notification bell because i upload every single saturday and i have all types of videos I'm talking about birds snakes fish dogs like the whole shebang and uh it's just my experience my experience as a pet owner with you i'm not no professional i'm not no professional i'm just a regular person sharing with you my uh journey with my pet and all my other little monkeys that are running around. Basically, uh, get ready for the scariest small snake you have ever seen. And just in case you didn't know, hog noses have some venom. They are venomous, but they're back fanged. So you won't, I mean, they won't put a lot in there if they bite you. Day one, just got home with the hog nose. I set up his little temporary container and I tried to feed him. So he's eating live pinkies, which is rats, which is so sad. Um, I got a bunch of frozen, but the breeder left one live one for him and me to give him today because today's his uh, things to eat. And I just gave him one. And let me tell you, I feed rats, but <sighs> pinkies are so hard to feed live. Don't do it. It made me so sad. I'll show you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna cover him up, leave him alone, and uh, talk to you guys soon. Hello, it's day two, and I look like a straight up mess, but look what came in today. Aspen bedding. So, I think I'm still gonna keep him in, too, in that container for now, and I'm gonna put some bedding in there for him so he can dig around, and Hiram's gonna see him. My oldest son is going to see him for the first time. Don't mind this craziness, I'm getting my hair done today. So, that's what's going on. And I'll link these below in the description. All right, so we have him in my bathroom for now. Um, I'm gonna find somewhere else to put him. But you guys have seen this. This is how I quarantine my ball python. Um, and here we have the Aspen digs. So I'm just gonna these off. I'm going to show this little guy. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Can this sign? Uh, I mean, hi, Mom. Can this song sign? Where's right. the snake? He's nowhere. He's nowhere. Oh. He hides? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. What, is, what, is it they like hiding? They like, is it? Yep, they like hiding. So we're going to take this out and we're going to put this in there so that he can dig around. 
Okay, so can let I, me dump this out. Hold on, let me dump this out batty? first. Does he even go batty? Yes, but I don't want you to be bothering him because if he gets scared, he'll throw up his food. It's because only been 24 hours, and we need to give him more time. Mama, in my area, you have spines on him, like, like spikes on him? No, he doesn't. He See, one. there he is. What, what's the nose? His nose looks like a little hog nose. Um, Doesn't it? Yeah, what? It's like turned up. You know why he has that? Why? So he can dig. What? Well, what He's going to dig in here. Mama, why the tail? Make little bear burrows. Mama, why, why, why is it so small? Yes, those ones are smaller. Don't get too close, okay? Is, is, is it they stay small? And they stay small? Yep, they're going to stay small. They stay small? Well, not this small. They're not going to get as big as the ball python. The more, the more, the more, how small they get. How small. How small they get. How small. How small they get. I want to do it too. Can Hold I on. Do it too? Okay, let me hold it. Let me hold it so we don't make a mess. I don't want any to drop anywhere. All right, start putting it in. Perfect. So we definitely don't want this little guy to bite us because he has a little tiny bit of venom and you guys are so little that it'll probably hurt you guys more than us. Oh, you saw that? Yeah. It's because he's scared. He'll be happier when he's in his like little... Yep, he's camouflaged. There he is. I can see him. I can see him. I'm going to why and see because I can see a black tongue sticking out. Yeah. All right, buddy. This is just hide for now. Water bowl. Hey Google, how small? How small? How small is a a nose snake gets? It's a nose. No, it's a hog nose. Don't mind my eyelashes right here. Huh, looks like there's a problem. Hey Google. Hey Google. How small did a how hog big does a hog nose snake get? No, how small? I think it's smaller than that, yeah. That that one's not a baby. Huh, looks like there's a problem. Good morning, it's day three of having the hog nose. And um, if you see a big pile of laundry on my bed, <laughs> that's fresh, clean laundry I gotta do, so ignore that. I'm pretty sure I've said that for like three days. But uh, anyways, so the first two day I did first two days I didn't really show you much because I didn't really do much. I fed him the first day and I tried to feed him and I know, you know, for ball pythons particularly they say leave him alone for a week then try to feed him. Well, I just I knew it was feeding time for him and I wanted to see if he ate and he actually ate right away. So that is such a difference from having a ball python is he ate the pinky right away and so um i left him alone it's been over 24 hours now last night was 24 sorry last night was 48 hours so now i'm gonna go in look at him i'm gonna try to handle him and we're gonna start the week off like that so the first two days were pretty much nothing pretty much i did nothing um except for whenever i got the aspen i put aspen in there that's about it so uh let's take a look Yeah, we don't touch him. He's still little. Okay. So let's turn on the lights so you can see. I'm going to be careful. You don't need to worry. He's not going to bite me. He, I don't even know why I have a thing in there. He doesn't even use it. 
Maybe he likes the sand more better. Alright, let's find him. He's usually over here by the hot spot. Maybe he's sneaky. Oh, he's right there. There he is. Can you guys see him? He's right see, there. I'm not sure that's his tail. Nope, that's his head right there. There he is. Okay, so I guess I'll take him out and start to handle him. So he can kind of get used to it. Alright, so here we go. I don't know what my son did with him the first day that he was so mad. He was like hissing and all that kind of stuff. Very, very cute. Look at his little hog nose. Can you see his little hog nose? So cute. Then I'm going to take him downstairs and weigh him, and we'll see how much he weighs and all that stuff and write it down. He, he weighs zero. So I can keep track. He, he's now zero? Alrighty. Okay, so he is. 1.4 ounces. Okay, Google. Convert 1.4 ounces to grams. 1.4 ounces equal 39.689 grams. 39.69 grams. Cool. them longer but uh, honestly I have a lot of work to do but he seems pretty chill which is good that means we had a good inter interaction but I got a lot of work to do so I got to put him down so that's what we're gonna do good morning it's day four well hello there Iris Iris how easy is it having a hog nose compared to a ball python tell us what do you think Pretty easy, guys. Literally, since he ate, oh, you little. Ugh. Literally, since the hognose ate, I feel completely stress free. I don't have to worry about that. And ball pythons can be very stressful because you have to worry about are they stressed? Did they eat? All that kind of stuff. Iris, this, this video is not about you. But I'm going to have you on here. Akuna Matata. Alright, let's take a look at what this little crazy guy's doing. Today, I think tonight, I'll work on his kind of place. Um, I don't have a time to hold him right now, but I'll hold him later today. I have a lot of work to do. And you can see how he's like made his little tunnels. Where'd you go, bud? It's being really cool. The first day he hissed at me a lot, but he actually has not hissed at me after that and he seems pretty comfortable. Like he's not making his head super big. He's not being, being crazy. So I'm very, very impressed so far. I mean, he's just like chill. Hmm. He eats juvenile, he's not a baby, so I think that maybe has a little bit to do with it. I still have not decided on a name for him. And at first I thought I wasn't gonna keep him because when he did, I should have had that on video. When he did, I was on the phone with my mom, when he did act crazy, it freaked me out, it scared me and <laughs> because he legit looked like a rattlesnake and uh, it scared me. 
He's doing good today. Yesterday he pooped. And I do want to say, so when my ball pythons poop, the first time that they kind of poop, I don't really notice that like I'm looking at the tank and cleaning it and then I notice a poop after, like it's not stinky, stenchy. When I came up to his little thing, his little um, quarantine or whatever you want to call it for right now, his enclosure, I did smell something funky and I looked in there and he had poop and it was only a little bit of poop but it was really, it was stinky and so I was like okay that's weird, he's a lot stinkier than my ball python so that's something I've noticed. So far, I don't know if that's weird or not. All right, come chill with me. But this guy is cool. I'm excited because the hog knows I can, I can hold him a lot more than my ball python. So I'm excited. I have so much craziness going on, but today I think I'm gonna start bringing him out and letting, like holding him and doing that kind of stuff. So later today, so I'll keep you guys updated. It's only been day four, we still got Three more days to go before the week's over. Bless you. Bless you, Iris. I love you. Hey guys, so it's day five with the hognose and, but I have this huge tank Malfoy's down there and I divided it in half with some wood and uh, this is kind of where I have him just chilling so he has a lot of space to just discover and hang out. So that's kind of what I've been doing and uh, we're gonna try to find him and take him out and hold him every day I'm trying to hold him so I'm not quite sure where he's at um, it's gonna be interesting trying to find him in here He's like a major Houdini right now. He's pulling a major Houdini. Where the heck did he go? I can't find him. What in the world? Guys, I couldn't find him anywhere and uh, I'm pretty sure he's in here. Like behind this. I don't know how the freak he got back there. Like... Yep, I'm guessing through that hole right there, underneath. <sighs> it's so frustrating because I glued it, so I don't know how I'm going to get him out. So, yeah. I'm guessing he climbed through the top. Do you Can you see him? <sighs> like, what is he thinking? I'm guessing he went got through there. Definitely mean I'm gonna have to fix that. My crazy snake got in the back of the enclosure tank. And now I'm trying to get him out. Oh, crazy snake, come out of there. Come on. I'm trying to take him out. He decided to play dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you see this crazy snake? Oh, he decided to turn back around and not play dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey guys, now that I wrecked my room, I got this little guy out. <laughs> I think we're gonna name him Houdini. I think that's his new name. This is Houdini, you guys. He is a magician of sorts because I couldn't find him all afternoon. And he's so silly. Oh my gosh. Stop looking at me with that little nose of yours snarky little nose look at that oh, little fetcher anyways you guys this has been an adventure i think i'm gonna hold him for a couple minutes and then put him back into figure out how i'm gonna close that up that little space there day six of the hog nose and i recently just um my hair is so crazy i recently just got a little cork tunnel 
thing and he actually really likes it. He was chilling in there and now he's kind of just discovering, trying to get out. I, I am sure about it. Isn't he so funny? Oh my gosh. He's so hilarious. Oh my gosh, look at his little face. <laughs> He's just like, I'm trying to get out, don't mind me. So he's just chilling. He's just chilling. He's good. I held him earlier. I mean, he's an awesome snake. He's actually pretty awesome. Just the uh, trying to escape part. You got to be careful because they're so small. You guys, it's day seven. I'm going to feed the hognose. I'm going to try to feed him. Um, have a little frozen pinky mice, mouse or rat. Okay, so I'm trying one last time. I just flipped over his thing and just left him in there. We'll see if he decides he wants to eat it or not. He was very pissy that I offered him like a meal. I was like hissing at it. So strange. Watch him, like strikes it. It. <sighs> really? Stop it. <sighs> okay, what the heck? I don't know what is going on with my hog nose. I have no idea why he decided not to eat. Um, the first night he was here, I gave him a live. Uh, rat pup sort of like that's what I have to do I don't know it's like starting over with another ball python I have a picky hog nose <laughs> the heck so anyways I guess I'm gonna keep recording for the next couple days I'm gonna try again tomorrow it's like he was so pissy he he was just annoyed that I was trying to feed him that that's what he was doing that's what Houdini was doing he was annoyed that I was trying to feed him like really? <laughs> oh. Anyways, Malfoy ate. Okay guys, so it's been a week with the hog nose. I still haven't fed him, he still has any in, but I hope you enjoyed this video and got to see the adventures with the hog nose the first week. He actually is pretty chill. I mean, except for him escaping behind the enclosure and him not eating. He's pretty chill, he's pretty easy, he's been pretty nice every time I've went to held him. Um, that was he doesn't really strike that often but you see when he's pissed off he can be quite fast and it can be quite creepy so i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave any comments or questions down below i hope you'll subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye